Welcome back to Yoshi Entertainment, everybody. So I have another very controversial topic to discuss for this video. So if you have weak pride or a very bruisable ego, you should not watch this video. But anyways, just recently, Glorilla, the rapper, came out with a video where she was basically saying she likes the idea of the whole 50-50 thing. That she promotes that. And lately, these days, a lot of women do. And so there's some people that come out and say, oh, yeah, I agree with you. And then some women say, I do not agree at all. Now, the reason why I don't agree is because the whole 50-50 mindset, I really believe that it's but backwards. Now, let me, let me explain some things before I get to that. I, for the most part, was raised pretty traditionally that the man, you know, is the husband. You get married, the man is the husband. He's the provider, the protector. He pays the bills, right? A lot of people, they don't agree with that. Even if the woman has to work because in a perfect world... You know, the men would go out, they would make the money, they'd pay the bills, the women would stay home, she would take care of the home, take care of the kids. Everybody's happy, all the jobs are done. But we don't live in a perfect world. Uh, the cost of living has skyrocketed, so both spouses usually have to have a job unless they're willing to make some sacrifices, which there's nothing wrong with, or the husband makes enough money to take care of two individuals or a family. I was also raised that if a man cannot financially provide for a wife or a family, then he should not be involving himself with women or having children with women. You know what I'm saying? Because that's a bad position to put you and your future kids in because no child wants to be raised in either a single parent household or by two individuals who were not financially or emotionally or mentally stable enough to bring them into this world and raise them. But anyways, she said she would do 50-50 because at least if the guy walks out on her or cheats on her, She'll still have, you know, she'll be used to paying her own bills, you know, having that mindset, having some money. But I feel like a lot of these women are doing 50-50 because they feel like it'll get them a man easier or it will convince their man to stay with them. And if he doesn't, they'll still have some money, right? Or they'll still have some financial independence and some financial strength. But like I said, that seems hypocritical. And if not hypocritical, definitely butt backwards because if you're going 50-50... You're putting half of what you make into the bills, which is not going to stop any man who doesn't want to be faithful from being unfaithful to you. And if he still decides to leave, you only have that half of the 50 that you didn't put in. At least if he's paying the bills, 100% of the bills, if anything goes wrong, you still have 100% of what you made. And I'm speaking on behalf of the women who work, you know, who are married because... Most women who are married have to work, like I said before, because of the cost of living and because they need, you know, two incomes and there's not a whole lot of men that want housewives these days. And another thing about the whole 50-50 mindset like, that I don't think some people understand, there are not a lot of women, especially in these Gen Z, um, this Gen Z generation that's coming up. If they're doing 50-50, like a lot of men, they want complete submission. You know, they want to be the boss, but they don't want to pay the cost. You're making her go 50-50. A lot of these women are not going to respect y'all doing 50-50. I'm just letting you know right now. Not to be rude, not to be disrespectful, okay? They're not going to respect somebody who doesn't pay their bills, okay? Because the person who pays the bills, and I don't mean this in a manipulative or abusive or misogynistic or sexist way, but the person who pays the bills is the person who runs the place, okay? She's paying half the bills, then she's halfway in control. And I'm not saying you should be like, oh, I'm going to pay all the bills then so I can boss you around and, you know, beat you up and, you know, I can do whatever I want to. Because that's not right. And that's how we end up with all these men with these, quote, high value man mindsets that because they pay all the bills, they can just do whatever they want. They can have multiple women. They ain't got to treat anybody right, which is very disgusting, disturbing and wrong. But like I said, we don't live in a perfect world. Now to combat that, we need to do a better job with, like I said, who we're spending our time with, who we're sleeping with, who we're marrying, who we choose to have children with. So that we won't end up with somebody who thinks that just because they do, they are paying 100% of the bills. Which again, is the, the sole responsibility of the provider, the protector of the family, which is the husband. That he by default has the right to do whatever he wants. Respect, love, and honor towards God first, then his wife, then his children is imperative. Still, we need to be in relationship with men who understand their assignment as a husband, as a father, as the head of the household and does the right thing at the same time. But let me get off of that soapbox because that's really that's really a whole nother topic for another video. 
A lot of people agreed with Glorilla and the whole 50-50 thing saying, oh, well, do what works for you. But I feel like in reality, there is no do what works for you. There is a way that works and there's a way that everybody else does. And we wonder why all of our relationships and our lives fall apart. But anyways, a lot of people are agreeing with her. But it's ironic to me because there are women that are agreeing with her with her 50-50 mindset. But then you have men who understand the assignment who are saying this. Now, that came from a man who has money, and I do agree with what he said. Now, I'm not saying that just because you make like five figures or you don't make like a butt ton of money or that, you know, you're not rich, that you don't deserve to be able to be, you know, in a relationship with someone. I'm just saying if you're going to do that, make sure you understand your responsibilities and don't adopt some mindset just so that you can feel better and be justified by not fulfilling said responsibilities. Again, I won't say that you aren't allowed to or don't deserve to be in a relationship with somebody if you don't make a certain amount of money because there are some women who do want to still be with a man despite him not making six figures or whatever. They're okay with that. It's not a big problem. But like I said, just don't let it be at the expense of that woman if you still want to pursue that relationship. Now, Cardi B weighed in and she agreed with the 50-50 mindset financially, I'm speaking. Now, first of all, I don't even know what to say about that other than the fact that she's married to Offset. That should say enough right there. And I'm assuming that she partakes in the 50-50 with her husband. And once again, this is a man who we're talking about that has cheated on her multiple times. So again, the 50-50, it does nothing to keep men from walking out on you, from not cheating on you. So help me understand the point. From my experience and from my understanding, the 50-50 mindset just doesn't lead to anything good or usually doesn't. And what it seems like to me is that either it's happening for one of two reasons. Either the man can't afford to pay all of the bills, to pay for dinner, etc. Or he doesn't want to. Either way, there's going to be a problem or there is a problem. Because like I said before, one, either... He does not need to be involved in a relationship with somebody, at least not at that time or not yet. Like the young man said in the video from before, but he's still trying to make it work at her expense. Or if he doesn't want to, then that is a strong indication that he has a lack of responsibility and he doesn't understand what is required of him. And I know people are going to say, oh, that's just what you think. That's just how you believe things should be done. But again, I really feel like, especially within the black community, because we have some very toxic ways of thinking, we have really tricked ourselves into believing stuff that we have no business believing, let alone implementing in our lives and our relationships with other people. That really has us all messed up. Like it really reminds me of the whole I'm a you know strong independent black woman I don't need no man it's a very toxic mindset like because then when they start treating us like that you know it, it it leads to nowhere good like I said before you can call me whatever you want to I'm a delicate flower treat me with respect and chivalry and honor and love and treat me right treat me in the proper way that a man who is loving caring respectful honorable with integrity and has good character treat me the way that kind of man is supposed to treat a woman 
anyways my intentions was not to offend anybody so if anybody's mad like like I said you can respectfully let me know how you feel down in the comments and the key word that I put in there was respectfully okay because I did not intend to offend anybody I'm just putting out there the truth okay y'all let me know what y'all think down in the comments below respectfully